Grand Cayman is the fifth largest world financial capital. All companies are represented here. Everything from Facebook to Instagram to PayPal to Microsoft. They all have offices in Grand Cayman. The island was put together by the British government to be a tax neutral environment. I take my patients here because I can do things with cells here that I can't do in the United States. And I don't want to be limited, meaning that all physicians that do this kind of work in the United States are limited in what they can do and what they can offer. Their hands are tied. Down here, we can do more things for patients at this licensed site than we can do in the United States. Now, sometimes that's not necessary, and other times it is needed. So I want that ability to take my patients to a place where I can get everything done that needs to be done. At this advanced culture site, we're able to grow more cells. Cell culturing just means that we're taking your cells and we're growing them to bigger numbers. By growing them to bigger numbers, we give ourselves just more cells and a higher dose to work with. This is where all of the sample processing takes place. We receive the bone marrow and blood samples where we isolate the stem cells from the bone marrow and grow them using serum from a patient's blood sample. One of the interesting things that we do here and that we pioneered many years ago in cell culturing was the concept of growing cells without either artificial chemicals created in a lab or exposing cells to animal products like fetal bovine serum. How we grow cells is we take the growth factors from your blood platelets and we use those growth factors to stimulate your cell growth. So we don't expose your cells to a bunch of foreign chemicals or chemicals that come from cows. We can select out certain cells here that are needed for the treatment. In addition to that, we can even do unique things with platelets. We can isolate the platelet-rich plasma and prepare several useful blood products, including concentrated platelets, uh, and platelet lysate. We can concentrate the platelets further, several fold. We can produce platelets that'll give us certain growth factor rich environments that might help cartilage, that might help bone, that might help uh, tendon healing. We're able to monitor the cell's health, morphology, density, and decide when they're ready for passaging or injection. In the United States, you have no ability to store cells for future use. So here, we can store your cells in what's called cryopreservation. We can freeze and store those cells indefinitely at minus 150 degrees Celsius. So you can come down once, get your cells taken, and sometimes we can store enough for five or 10 different treatments at your current biologic age, so that as you get older, you're getting younger cells from you. So through the years, we've noticed some distinct differences in how different conditions respond to different types of stem cell procedures. For instance, for a disc bulge that's sitting on a nerve, this type of advanced cell culture technique seems to provide much better results. Or for severe hip arthritis. For hip arthritis, what's unique about that disease is that the hip is very poor in its own stem cells. Unlike the knee that has a good number of stem cells in it that helps maintain the joint, the hip can't do that. And hip arthritis as a result can go very, very quickly. You can see a patient go from having almost no arthritis to severe arthritis inside of a year to 18 months. So that's why adding many more stem cells to the hip is needed versus the knee. Bulging disc, most people don't realize that the disc is an extremely hostile environment. Cells don't like it and they don't survive very well. What we can do here is we can pull out the cells that actually survive a hostile environment. So we can pull out the cells that are survivors or survivalists to put them into the disc. If we put regular cells on the disc, they're gonna die. It's a little bit like taking a bunch of uh, uh, tourists and dropping them off in the middle of the Sahara Desert. They're not gonna survive very long, whereas a trained survivalist will survive. And that's what we do with the cells here. We have a patent pending on the concept that you can select out survivalist cells for disc treatment. And that's actually the subject of an FDA approval trial that's ongoing now in the United States. So the same type of procedure that's being done here is the subject of that FDA approval trial. So mesenchymal stem cells are a bit unique. 
they only grow for a certain amount of time. And what we get during that time is what we get. They won't grow indefinitely. And in fact, that's one of the reasons why they have a great safety profile. They'll only grow to a certain amount. On safety, we've just published the world's largest stem cell complications and safety paper. So what that means is we followed 2,000 372 patients for up to nine years. Many of those patients were patients that were treated at this advanced cell culture site. All of this had a very robust safety profile. 